Episode 3, Happily Never After. Where do you wish to go? Musical world? What the hell? Can't I reincarnate somewhere normal for once? No complaining. The system has deemed this world a necessary stop in order to fulfill your wish. I find that hard to believe. Super reincarnation continually seeks the best result. There are no errors in its judgment. Indeed, indeed. Destiny brought us together as well, Zed. Destiny led us to mustache money bags? Damn. Talk about a fate worse than death. My, but what could be lovelier than a fated encounter? Surely our meeting must be destiny too. Which, without words to mince, la 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 means you must be my destined prince. What the hell gives you that idea? First things first, you... Can't you do something about your whole look? <laughs> it seems the prince this time around is rather innocent. An arrow through the heart, perhaps? L like hell it is! I just... Don't get along with girls. It's true. Girls usually hate Zed. Due to the fact that he is a zombie. His greetings are met with insults, he tries to return their hankies, they yell at him because a zombie's touched it. Zed's first crush passed out when he simply approached her. He's got a poor track record when it comes to the fairer sex. He must be quite intrigued deep down that a girl is trying to get close, even if she has an ulterior motive. It, you stupid mutt! Don't just go digging into my head like that! My, my, what a pitiful prince! No one's shown you even a speck of love? Don't worry, my darling. If, for my sake, the god of destruction you can plaster, la la la, we'll live happily ever after. Mm, this is no time for singing. We're surrounded by suspicious figures. The hell's up with these punks? Oh, they're just some of my previous princes. Even falling in battle couldn't douse their love for me. I'm pretty sure that ain't love. Now, Prince number 666, save me from the God of Destruction! 
My honor you shall be defending. La la la, lead me hand in hand to my happy ending. Fare thee well, princess of the past. I will be setting off toward my happy ending with my new prince. What a cold princess. She certainly doesn't seem like a heroine to me. My, my! Well, I would have welcomed a happy ending with my very first prince, you know. But he and the others all ended up dead. What's a girl to do about something like that? Even so, I'm not quite sure a princess who can jump from prince to prince like that is very... Uh, what's with you? I'm not the bad guy here. It's the God of Destruction's fault, obviously. The world's all gone to shambles since that prince killer showed up here. Uh. Oh, my dearest prince said, won't you please defeat the God of Destruction and marry me in a fabulous wedding? Marry you? Don't I get a say in it? Well, it's only normal for a prince and princess to fall in love at first sight and immediately get married. Who the hell would ever marry a selfish chick like you? So you say, but aren't you actually a little flustered deep down? Shut it! Shut the hell up, you stupid mutt! I'm going to take down the God of Destruction. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Resistance is futile, you know. You can't possibly defy fate. Therefore, the two of us... La 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 are destined to set a wedding date. Hey! Nobody said you could join us, damn it! Give up already, Zed. This too is a part of the path Super Reincarnation has set for you. choices for a prince are a zombie, a mustachioed man, or a pug. La la la, almighty developers, tell me this is a bug. Hey, you know we can hear you, right? Oh my, do forgive me, my darling. I couldn't help but complain just a tiny bit. Whatever. You're just planning to use me to defeat the God of Destruction, right? Hmm? Well, who knows? That's fine. I plan on using you, too. Really? We make a perfect pair! You must truly be my fated prince after all! Hold on! There ain't gonna be any happy ending with me! To get that, you'll have to settle for one of them. Yo, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be against it. Have you no pride? 
I threw that out the window long ago. Okay, that settles it. Lead the way to the God of Destruction. As you wish. Hmm, what a cheeky brat. He's just some zombie, yet he has the nerve to turn down a marriage to me? Doesn't he know that a happy ending with me is the greatest of honors anyone can get? Hmm. His brain must have rotted through. So be it. When he defeats the God of Destruction, I will attain my own happy ending. Like I'd marry a zombie anyway. So, Melodia, have you not considered that you're awfully strong for a princess? Why, of course I rise above! After all, la la la, I have the power of love! The power of love? What good is that? Oh, don't you know? The power of love is invincible! If that were true, we'd all have it easy. I don't need love to beat the god of destruction. I need power. While it may not make you invincible, the power of love is great. You just don't know what love is yet. I once... Uh, shove it! I'm not interested in your stupid puppy love! Now listen here, Zed. Violence that relies on anger and hatred won't be enough to defeat the God of Destruction. The reason you can't beat it, even after tens of thousands of times, is because you still lack certain kinds of strength. Shut up! You're just a damn mutt! Don't you dare lecture me! <laughs> <laughs>